Hmm? Oh, well, you, you can burn pumice grass. Yeah, okay. So, alright, Ophiopogon japonicus monkey grass. This is one and this is one. Okay, different cultivars but the same species. One thing I want you to notice, obviously, okay, there are some monkey grasses that will be a little bit larger than this, so each blade will be. Um, let me borrow that. I'll give it back to you. Mm. Alright, so each blade will be a little bit. Uh, Thicker than this for some for some monkey grasses, but for the most part, it is okay to identify monkey grass in the, in the way that it's just so much more fine textured and much thinner uh, and typically much shorter than liriope. Now that's a large liriope out there, so there are liriopes that will be around the same size. Uh, you know, we talked about those that are about a foot tall. There are those liriopes that are around the same size, but they're always a little bit more coarse textured than the monkey grass. Okay. Obviously, if you have a large liriope and you have a, a relatively diminutive or small uh, monkey grass, there's not much trouble identifying. Okay. All right. Obviously, much thinner and much uh, shorter than the liriope. You'll also notice. Okay, these were planted. Those liriope have been out there for five, six years. These monkey grass were planted last year or two years ago, and you'll notice all these little plantlets that are occurring. Okay, not so much on this one over here, it's not nearly as aggressive, but you'll notice all these little plantlets that begin to uh, occur. It's, these are underground rhizomes, and if you just sort of scratch the surface here, you'll be able to find them most of the time. Okay, you can see these rhizomes begin to send out all right all these new uh, new plants all right so this thing will eventually begin to clump up and uh, you can separate them and plant them in different areas and eventually you could uh, fill this this bed in relatively easily all right uh, this is a rise a rhizome that I had dug up a little bit it was just underneath the ground so they're very much more aggressive than uh, the ripe okay and also um, not a whole lot of of, uh, of different identification characteristics to be honest with you there they are similar to liriope I mean the back of them ha they have that uh, venation so parallel venation and the back of the leaf is uh, much uh, a little bit lighter than the, the top of the leaf that is a dark green and you see the tips begin to burn much like liriope but there's so much different as far as size and um, effect are concerned. This is one that's used a lot, like uh, you can use that in between steps, like uh, stones and things like that. You can use this as a nice little border for a smaller bed, like if you just want to grow up some uh, some smaller vegetables or something like so that, these, you can put it around there. These three are three different? These two. Okay. That is a junkus. Or a, uh, so this one will stay small and like kind of clumpy. You know, yeah, it'll be a little bit smaller. Now, not s clumpy can be uh, misleading to some extent because again we see it spreading right. relatively yeah. aggressively. But it's uh, I consider the liriope to be real, you know, really uh, just a nice mound. But yes, this does clump together. All right. Is it ever used as like a turf grass? Um. I've seen it used ornamentally in that sort of way, but never like you don't like have your kids out there it. running around and playing on it. All right. A lot of times you'll see it uh, planted so thickly that it almost looks like a turf grass, but you can't. It doesn't handle wear. Okay. Yeah, like a, you know how you're saying in between grass. stones. <laughs> yeah. how, how close would you have to plant them for it to make like a solid? Well, eventually this thing will begin to sort of spread, but if you want to do it immediately, I mean, you'd have to. That was one plant, and it hasn't grown all that much. Uh, I guess this, some of this little edge stuff is, is came, came off of. This was probably the size of one plant last year. Okay, so you'd have to plant them really close together to to get much of an effect in that regard, or have somebody who's interested in delayed gratification. <laughs> Are all the Lilia Pi um, rhizomes? Do they have? Um, I'd have to think about that first. There's a whole lot of them. But they do tend to uh, reproduce and sucker in that way.